everybody's familiar with the M16's profile. You've got this carry handle here. In fact, it's been on there since the early 60s. And one of the things about this carry handle, though, it does have the sights on top, but it always was a challenge to put optics on this rifle. And even when you put optics up on the carry handle, it was very difficult because you had to bring your stock and raise it up to be able to get a good cheek weld. And of course, now the flat top is the standard. And then, of course, just like this, this is a detachable carry handle, which makes it nice. So you can take it off, makes applying optics incredibly easy, brings the, the brings it low down to the rifle for a, a better bore axis. So, you know, that's one of the things about the Picatinny rail system that's really been in, incredible. But one of the things that a lot of people overlook is putting an optic on your rail and having no backup. You know, optics do give you an advantage, whether it's at your shooting range or on the battlefield. And, but the big thing about optics is this is very vulnerable. Vulnerable to being hit and damaged. Uh, vulnerable to be knocked off target. And you really need to have a set of backup sights to go along with your optics. Now this is one of the first sights to come out on the market to replace the carry handle. And this is basically just an A2 sight without the carry handle section. Uh, it is for Picatinny. It is removable. But here we're doing something that's a little bit different, and we're going to do a co-witness. And this little Vortex Spark, which is an excellent little red dot, the sights actually line up with the red dot. And that's the reason why you call it co-witness. Because if for any reason the battery goes dead, I can still look through my sights and be able to see without any change. The only difference is I'm just not going to have the red dot. Batteries do go out. Uh, obviously this this site here could be damaged even though it's pretty tough can be damaged can be knocked off of uh, your point of aim now, it's pretty difficult to see the red dot itself but as you can see especially with this combat aperture you have a really large space to be able to look through and of course this back sight can be removed completely and just to utilize the, the uh, spark but it does make it nice it does co-witness together now I recently did a review on the arm swan sleeve and this is their A2 sight, it's a low profile sight. Now because of the CMR, which this is an excellent scope by the way, a 1x4, it does ride pretty low on the, the rifle itself. So I can't use this sight with my scope on it. But worst case scenario, I can always remove the scope. It has hand nuts here and I'm actually thinking about uh, replacing that with some of the quick release le levers but uh, that way I, I do have a backup sight if I need to remove this scope and this is already sighted in and then you go from the sight here down to the front post now I call this one my triple threat <laughs> and part of the reason is you have an ACOG scope here for power it has backup sights as you can see here and here so that's more for you know for close quarter combat and this is actually a tritium insert in the front so we've got our scope we've got these sights and then I have this MBUS Magpul rear sight so again you're gonna have to remove the ACOG to get to your rear sight but even if the ACOG is damaged you still have sights here it's you've got to really take a lick on this one before I'm gonna need this but I really like having the option. And two, I could take this off and just use the rear to front sight. This is an H bar and it is a 20 inch barrel. I do have a pretty large optic on here. And to be honest with you, it's mainly for shooting long distance, more precision shooting. So, which this is not super important that I have a set of optics on here. And as you can see, the front sight is completely missing. I can apply a front sight on here because of the Picatinny rail, it, but then back here in the back, I can't. One of the, so one of the best options in this situation would be to keep your detachable carry handle on hand and then to also bring in a nice front sight that may be one of the flip down versions for this rifle. Now one of the things you don't really want to battle is being able to get a good uh, sight picture on your scope to have that correct eye relief to have your neck in a funny position to be able to see your target. You need to be as comfortable as possible on your rifle stock. So make sure that your rings are in line, make sure that your rear stock is where you want it to be. Because the more natural you are, the better you're going to be able to hit the target. 
Now there are a ton of different companies out there making great backup sites. Um, I know Arms is one of the best, and of course, you know, if you really want to go first rate, metal, a metal site should be your first choice. But Magpul is putting out the polymer sets that are high end, very good quality, and will meet most of your needs. Having a good backup sight system on your rifle just makes sense, and you know Murphy can always come around and make things hard for you. So you might as well be prepared and have a little backup plan. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. And as always, thanks for watching. My mother-in-law. <laughs>